Good day everyone. So this is uh, example 4 on statical stability of floating bodies. So this is the problem. This is non-prismatic uh, or non-rectangular floating body. It is desired to float in fresh water, a wooden cone, 18 centimeters in diameter and 25 centimeters high, with the apex downward. If the specific gravity of the cone is 0.6, compute the submerged depth, compute the distance of the metacenter from the center of buoyancy or MBO, and locate the metacenter from the center of gravity or the distance between M and metacenter and center of gravity. So, this is the figure. This is the cone. These are the details. The radius of the cone is 9. The depth is 25 centimeters. So, this is the water line section expected. The depth of the submerged depth, we will denote that by HD. And the water line section is circular because this is a cone, circular cone. And we will denote the radius of the water line section as X. So for volume displays, let's call that VB and the volume of the cone V sub C. So weight equals buoyant force. The weight of the wooden cone is 0 0.6 times gamma of water times volume of cone while the buoyant force is gamma of water times volume displaced. So cancelling out gamma of water, that means volume displaced is 0 0.6 of volume of cone. Applying principles in solid geometry that we have similar solids here because this is a cone and this is the parent cone. So volume displaced as to HD cube, so volume cubic unit, so HD should be in cube, equals volume of cone as to height of cone cube, where the height of cone is 25 cm. So from principles in solid geometry, volume of similar solids, volume displaced as to height submerged depth cube equals volume of cone as to height of cone cube. So substituting VD 0.6 of V sub C over HD cube equals V sub C as to 25 cube Cancelling out V sub C, so HD is 25 times cube root of 0.6, so HD is 21.09 centimeters. For the distance of meta center from the center of buoyancy, that's MBO, which is moment of inertia of the waterline section, which is a circle, over volume displaced. So this is the center of buoyancy. The center of buoyancy, or the centroid of the cone, is 3 fourths of the three-fourths of HD from the apex and the center of gravity is also three-fourths of the height of the cone from the apex. So you should know that from geometry or from integral calculus. So D, G is center of gravity is also 0.75 or three-fourths of H sub C, which is 25 cm. So uh, let's assume that the meta center is above G and let's assume also that this cone can float in this upright position with apex downward. So MBO is I over V volume displaced where I is pi over 4 X to the fourth and volume displaced is 0 0.6 of V sub C. So by similar triangles to solve for X, X as to HD 21.09 equals 9 as to 25. So X is 7.592 cm. Then substitute into this formula MBO equals pi over 4 quantity 7.592 to the fourth over 0.6 of volume of cone pi over 3 radius of cone square times height of cone. Cancel out pi. So 3 fourths of 7.592 to the fourth over quantity 0.6 times 9 squared times 25 gives us the distance of the meta center from center of buoyancy, 2.051 cm. Then finally, the distance of the meta center from G, assuming M is above G to be positive and stable. So from the figure, MG is MBO minus GBO. And 
GBO is equal to 0.75 of 25 minus 0.75 of 21.09. So GBO is 2.9325 cm, which is greater than uh, MBO. So that means M should be below G or MG should be, or the metacentric height should be negative. But anyway, let's still use this figure. So MG is MBO minus GBO, 2.051 minus GBO. So MG is negative, so that means it is unstable. It cannot float with apex downward in this position. It can only float when the diameter of the cone is increased, so perhaps 40 cm, so that there's a big possibility that it can float upright. But the question is just to locate the meta center from the center of gravity, so that's the distance. So therefore, the distance of M meta center from center of gravity is 0.8815 cm, but, but M is below the center of gravity. So that's it for this problem. I hope you were able to follow the solution.